Welcome back to Sunbird Garage. Hey, wait, what are we doing here? Bill's gonna unload my car while I watch. So it's about 30 inches from the fender to the ground. We're gonna see how much it uh, comes up. But yeah, she was pretty well loaded. Get this project started. Look at unobtainium. Yeah. V8 power steering pump bracket. Very hard to find. Anyway, we are removing the small block from the road. So let's see. And it's about 31 inches on this side. I'm gonna guess it's 31 inches on the other side. Maybe it's lower on this side, I don't know. Yeah, 30 and a half. Let's see what happens when we roll this thing out of here. Done a lot more than that, but it's at uh, 32-ish over here. I'll get a copyright thing on Bill's music over there. Yeah, 32 and a half, I don't know. I thought it squatted a lot more than that, but victory for the rogue. Go put this sucker away. So video two of the uh, hot rod Sunbird high school build. Motor runs, fuel pump doesn't, so we're gonna change the fuel pump and see if we can't get it running and driving and uh, take it for a little ride and maybe, maybe it'll do some burnouts. It'll, I don't know if it'll do a burnout. It's a one wheel, one wheel peel. So, um, but yeah, we're gonna do that first and see what we can do. So wish us luck. Oh, I did change the, uh, the gas cap back here. So there you go. Progress already. It's hard at work doing, I don't know what, taking it apart. He put it together six years ago and now he gets to take it apart and put it back together again. But I get to climb under here. Uh oh. I need to climb under here and drop this fuel tank, which I'm not really looking forward to doing. But the fuel pump don't work. So this is, well, this is fun. Got the, got the tank dropped, got the clamps off, so now it's just pulling them off these what these lines and we should be should be good. So stay tuned. And there you go. Fuel tank delete. And she is clean under here. Tank's been out before. It's got new clamps on it, or new hose clamps on it here. So it's been out before, but nice and clean under here. Clean tank too. Look at that thing. Look at it, look at it. <clears throat> Who knows what the inside looks like. Just keep hitting it. Bill's cross shot. Yay. Light a match, see if it looks like in there. There's oh, fuel in there. There's fuel in there. That looks... I mm. think we should dump it. Yeah, oh yeah. Dun, dun. Last time I did this, yeah. Rick Rothermill helped me do it and it was on a side of 78 I was in Pennsylvania. Say, it was on, on the power, tour. power tour. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't... It looks clean. So, I don't know, it's maybe. a carter, so it's been replaced. Yeah, we should probably test it, huh? Zuck, boof, yeah. flames. Oof. Well, that was a nightmare, but we got it back together. The other fuel pump worked, so maybe we've got an issue with the, the pressure switch or something, but what's Bill doing over here to my small block Chevy, now small block Pontiac? Arizona overhaul, buddy. Yeah. That's gonna hurt some feelings. You ever heard of a small block Pontiac? Go into a Pontiac page and say, big block Pontiac or small block Pontiac, and people will just lose their minds. So, but, hey, it's my car. I can do whatever the hell I want with it. Besides, it's, only paint. it's a Pontiac. So now it's got a small block Pontiac. Yeah, I'll get some hate for that. Guess what? I don't care. So we got the uh, fuel pump put back together. So I'll drop this into the car. I'll put this back up into the car. And then we'll figure out what else we got to do. So, I didn't think I would like it this much. Yeah, I turned a pony, Chevy into a Pony crap. But I love it. First ever small block Pontiac. <laughs> but yeah, that thing's gorgeous. So, I think I said it earlier, but Bill assembled this motor for me. Oh God, when was that? 2018, Bill? 2018, because it was supposed to go in my red car. Because my red car was supposed to be my high school build. And now we're finally doing it, so... Wow, I really like that. 
was that color. Now it's the correct color, which is gonna hurt some feelings probably, but I like it. Good job, Bill. You're welcome. Now go put it in here real quick. All right. Ready to fire? Let's get this uh, fuel tank back. So you can't really see anything under here, but I just noticed there's no sway bar. Drag car don't need no sway bar. But yeah, I'll have to go find a sway bar and throw it on here at some point. That's another problem for another day. Let's get this stupid fuel tank in here. Well, it runs. Not well. Don't look at my broken windshield. Hey, it moves. It runs the drive. Maiden Voyage, Oscar the Grouch. Yeah, I said it, Oscar the Grouch. Pull it headward. Pull it head forward. Transmission sucks. He told you it did. Killing me, Smalls. Shit. You're killing me, Smalls. Good thing that motor's going. Yeah. It runs like shit. I, I honestly, if it's more like a carburet is dumping than anything else. It's really so? rich, running really rich. Really rich, yeah. So, hey, at least it runs. We just, okay. You know that uh, fuel pump works. Motor's coming along. We got the heads on, torqued down. We have to adjust our uh, our uh, guide plates here for those push rods. And torque down our rockers. Intake's just parked on there for the moment. But damn, that's a good looking motor. Good job, Bill. He's You're built welcome, he's built it twice now. Hopefully to make some noise. Now we got Not, a car to put it in. Good noise. Yeah, and we got a car to put it in. So a running driving car. Yeah. Not that well running, but Bill says it's time to pull the motor out. We drove it for 50 feet. Now runs, it's, and drives. runs and drives. Now it's time to go. Bring her down, bring her down. Here we go. So, bye. First step, Uga horn. Yeah, that Uga horn's gotta go, that's terrible. Overflow bottle, next. That's gotta go too. Probably that battery. Battery can go back in the Mirage. Yeah. Get to work. Still have the original GM fuel line in it. Ripped right in half, spreading right in the face. My eye itches now. But yep, making progress. Bunch of stuff disconnected. Bunch of messy, messy stuff to come. Keep at it. Bill, what are you doing back there? You done fucking around yet? Adjusting the valves? Yeah, valves. The valves are on, the rockers are on, valves adjusted. Yeah. Looks good. I'm just trying to get parts off the floor. That's why I'm just putting the motor mounts on and shit like that. Bill, do the intake next. Bill's radio is having a fit over there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Watch out for that engine hoist. Yeah. Interesting. Look at her. Look at her. Beautiful. Update. Yeah, inching along. I got most everything disconnected here. Wiring harness disconnected from the car. I got to take that uh, that power wire over there off. Um, I got to crawl into the car and do the exhaust manifolds. Or take the loose at the cat. Oh, uh, what else? Motor's almost ready to come out. Working on the engine back here still. And we ran into a couple issues with uh, my thermostat housing and my alternator bracket, but uh, we'll come up with a solution for that. But 
Man, I can't stop looking at my motor. It's beautiful. Coming along. And I'll get back to work on tearing her, tearing her heart out. Is it cover the cleaning explosive? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, let's get that out of the way. <laughs> Not like this is an ultra rare, hard to find bracket, or anything. Or an alternator bracket. But hey, we're hot rodders. Fix it. Bill trimmed it off just like it was supposed to be. Factory. 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 Uh oh. You don't know air pump? Yeah. Don't need no sticking air pump. Now we're good. Yeah, that was the air pump uh, bracket mounting spot. This car ain't never going to have no air pump. So I think we're being in good shape now. Yeah, we're going there good now. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That bracket was over here. It was like almost touching this thermostat housing. So. Bill has modified it, fabricated it. Yeah, good job. Making progress. So it's good to have examples to look at. So we've got an issue with our power steering bracket. If you look at this one, it's got this flange is, is back and then it, it swings forward to this bracket. That's a 77. This might be easier to see on the 78, but same thing. See, it's, it's flat against the head swings out and it's flat this one over here it's this this part that goes against the head actually comes out so we don't know if somebody beat it and modified it or what they did but we're gonna do some modification because we're hot rodders bill's gonna hurt himself don't probably hurt, don't hurt yourself i need Bill. a bigger pipe yeah that's what she said but yeah i think we're gonna get some heat on that thing more fabrication because this bracket was messed up so we hacked it off and now we're going to weld it back together and it's going to be pretty besides nobody nobody will see it anyway oh and by the way it's it's raining a bit oh i can't get oh there's the window it's raining so now it's serious Modification continues on power steering bracket nightmare. Buzz, buzz. Well, day two in Sunbird Garage remote build day. And today we're doing some more surgery. Now I gotta open the door. Hey, it's dark in here. Wait, wait, let there be light. Boom. Yeah. Oh my God, it's gorgeous in here. Look at all these beautiful cars and that sunroom on the end. So. But yeah, today hopefully we'll make more progress. Made a lot of progress yesterday. Um, Mirage, race car, another race car. Look, I'm doing a wheelie. So let's give you a quick recap here. That saw's all down. Re quick recap here. Um, I've got everything disconnected up here. All I got left to disconnect is the motor mounts, transmission mount, speedometer cable, shifter linkage, drive shaft, and exhaust. That's it. Um, the motor is assembled. Uh, we had to modify the alternator bracket. This is a stock V8 Monza with air conditioning. Air conditioning would go over here. Um, alternator bracket. It had a uh, another boss over here that came up for the smog pump that would sit here. But I don't have a smog pump, so we nipped it off. Besides, it was like right against the water neck, so got rid of that. Um, power steering bracket that I had was a little bit mangled. Um, it didn't kind of... Somebody had modified it or bent it or something, or, or it's not the right bracket or something. So we had to end up cutting that in half uh, to get that to fit on the motor properly. I'm not sure where Bill's got that. Maybe it's over here. So there's our power steering bracket. Uh, we had to hog out that hole just a touch. That one there in the middle. I can't point because I'm hands full. And then we ended up lopping off the other two uh, holes 
uh, getting it aligned where it needed to be aligned and then welding it back on. We'll grind those welds down. Um, but yeah, needed quite a bit of modification because it's, it's, if you look at his cars, I think I pointed this out yesterday, maybe is you can see how the bracket, well, maybe you can't see the bracket swings back and then it comes out. And the one, this one here actually sw swung out forward. So we, we made, mangled it and made it flatter. This might be easier to see. So see how it, it, it flares back and then comes out to the water or the uh, power steering bracket or pump. Mine was the opposite for some reason. And it looked like somebody had, you know, modified it or ground it up or bent it or did something to it, which was why it was the way it was. So it'll work now. Hopefully my pulleys all line up, but yeah, making good progress. I'm really liking this project. Really appreciative of Bill and his time and his ingenuity to get this project done. But hopefully the plan for the day is get that motor out of there. And then maybe, maybe, what's today, Sunday? Maybe tomorrow on uh, Monday on uh, Labor Day, we can get the motor in the car. We do have a transmission. It's a 204R. So we will have to make some modifications to the transmission cross member to get that properly mounted. So fabrication to do. I don't know if we'll get this car running and driving before I have to go home. Um, but we'll be close. We'll be close. So back to work. Oh, so I'm under the car. It is gorgeous under here. Rust free. Look at that. Look at that. Fucking mint. But yeah, she's solid as a rock under here. But uh, we got the exhaust disconnected. Somewhat. Let's see if I can hold the camera wedge under this car. So the exhaust is disconnected. I gotta disconnect this exhaust hanger which is bolted to the transmission tail shaft and then I gotta take all the transmission stuff off it looks like they have some kind of spacer in there that shouldn't be there for some reason but that's what the torque arm is bolted to which we gotta disconnect out that obviously but yeah making progress making progress and now you're upside down have a nice day well exhaust ectomy is 90% complete. Still got the tails uh, back there. Uh, we gotta undo the torque arm right here. Speedometer cable, chip the linkage, motor mounts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the work, Kevin. Uh, torque arm nuts. They're actually Stover nuts, which is basically a locking nut. If you look at it, it's hard to tell in this video, but it's kind of oval. So it, it, it locks on. But I don't know why this extra spacer hoo-ha was on the torque arm bracket, but we'll save it just in case. I lost my washer. I don't want my, my, my other washer. You talking to so yourself I, over there? I am. How are you talking to yourself? Stover nuts. Hey, wait a minute. I gotta do this. There's somebody special in our lives that needs yeah. to know that I'm doing this. Yeah, look at that. Look Fancy at this. I'm gonna wear this in his honor today. <laughs> I can get it on my body. I, I, it's too tight. See, you gotta take your other shirt off so all your chest hair sticks out. Oh, that nice. giant. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Does it even fit? Is that a woman's shirt, Bill? Yes, it absolutely is. Oh, that's that's is lovely. Is that sexy or what? I think you should wear that to dinner. Tonight. I think Mark needs to like this shirt. Do you that's, like the shirt, Mark? It's pretty nice. You know where it came from. That's pretty nice. That's a carpenter ship, shipping shirt. <laughs> that's sexy, Bill. <laughs> get back to work. <laughs> So after all that fabrication work Bill did, he found the right one. See, this is what I was talking about. See how that that flange there on the back flares out? This one, for whatever reason, went the other way. We think somebody modified it 100 years ago, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll use this one. Maybe we'll use that one. I don't know. We'll see. Can't see nothing. But uh, yeah, speedometer cable, shifter linkage. And then we just got to drop the uh, cross members and the uh, motor mount bolts up there. And she'll be ready to come out. Try to get this fall out. But we'll see. Get to work, Kevin. Well, here we are. My exhaust is a little short. So, next up. 
take that drive shaft out of here. But uh, everything else is done. All we can hold in is the motor mounts. Get this out. Doesn't look like anything's different, but the only thing that's holding this motor in is gravity now. Transmission mounts out. Motor mounts are out. See, see, see. What's this? That's the boot for the alternator. Uh, but yeah, she's ready to pull. V6 ectomy. Heart transplant. V6 ectomy is complete. There it is. Anybody need a gently used uh, 231 Buick V6? I'll make you a deal. Come and get it. So, Bill's making a mess over there. All the funnels fell over. So yeah, so it's pretty pretty clean here. Obviously a little grubby. We'll clean that up. Be as good as new. But yeah. I just turned it by my hand. And it came out of the oil. Yeah. Maybe there's no oil in there. But yeah, it came out about what five ten minutes is all it took us. So we got everything disconnected. It took me three hours, three days to get this uh, disconnected. No, it <laughs> But it's if it uh, actually worked on it instead of fucking around doing that shit, you would have got it done in an hour. I stopped and went and looked at what watch what Bill was doing. Problem is, I'm old and I don't want to crawl under the car, so I I kept delaying it. But it's out, so I got to take those V6 plates out and then just clean this up. We're gonna separate the motor and the transmission, and uh, yeah, good times. 78 Pontiac Sunbird 231 V6. Wait, maybe, maybe not. One dollar, one dollar. Oh, there it is. Yeah, don't, don't need this anymore. Bye. Yeah, I don't think transmission supposed to, transmission oil is supposed to be black. Black like that. Black. Well, Bill and I decided to do a little side trip because he pointed out that I don't have the right pulleys. You gotta have a three groove pulley on the bottom. Let's go back over here and look at our example vehicle. So if you look at this, now this is power steering, alternator, and air conditioning. I don't have air conditioning, but you see the front belt on the power steering it goes to the front belt, front pulley, front groove on the front pulley there. And then the alternator's on the second one, and then the air conditioning's on the third one. Well, I don't, I don't need the third one but I need that three groove pulley on the uh, on the uh, water pump and on the bottom. And uh, look, we've got them. So now we're in business and, let me hold it out so you can see it. And we have the correct water neck in there too. See, there it is. So we'll change that. We'll clean up these pulleys, put them on there. Um, Bill found a guy local, Chris is his name. So thanks Chris for the pulleys. We owe you. We're going to have to replace these for him at some point. But, yeah, we're in good shape there. So tomorrow we will come back and clean this up and hopefully get this motor into this car. So be back in a second. Before. After. Not perfect, but better than it was. Look at the grass. Sweet. Now we gotta clean up these pulleys, because they're crusty. Well, that's better. It'll look real better once I paint it. Well, I gotta clean up this one too, because it's bigger around than the one that's on the motor. So, he's next. Ooh, doo -doo -doo. There, I think that's good. For now. So that one goes there. Come on, get in, get in. There we go. There we go. Now we got now we got the right pulleys. So here is the transmission for the new hot rod. High school car had a turbo 350. We're upgrading to a 204 r So I'll have overdrive. For power tour. But we took it apart and it's super clean. So we think we're in good shape here. Even had a new uh transmission mount on it. So, but yeah, 204R, 0.67 overdrive. That'll help. Making progress. Well, transmission's nice and clean. 
It's triple X. Pornographic. It's day three of Operation High School Build. So today, we get to go spend a lot of money. But let's see where we're at. So here's where we're at, day three. Transmission's ready to go. Well, no, it's not ready to go. Engine's ready to go. Bill's ready to go. Got the partial, list. Partial, partial list. We got the longer list in the house or the car. So maybe we'll get this motor in here today. Oh, we got to clean up our uh, our engine harness too. We're gonna we're gonna tweak that, make it a little bit shorter and cleaner, and delete some things. But yeah, let's go spend some money, Bill. Yeah, let's go. Phase one of the shopping trip is complete. Here, at, there, I can't see me. There you go, O'Reilly's. Oh, 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 fudge. Uh, we're not done yet either. We gotta go buy a battery, um, some nuts and bolts, some other odds and ends. Oh, we gotta find some gauges because I definitely want a oil pressure gauge and a temperature gauge for when we start this motor up. Probably should find a tack too, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I figured I'd be spending four or 500 bucks in just pieces, parts, and what do we get? Um, just a bunch of odds and ends. Hoses and belts, pipe plugs and radiator fluid and transmission fluid and seals for the transmission and whatnot. Nothing exciting. But gotta have it. Put this motor together, this car together. But off to another another stop. Bill's dropping off his used motor oil so we can get rid of that stuff. But go find more stuff. Bill's rolling away. Down the mountain he goes. That good? Yeah, can we put it in park? <laughs> I gotta put it in park, hold on. There, now it's in park. We won't go roll it down the mountain, hopefully. Hey, no eating in the car. <laughs> well, we rolled the old bird outside because we're gonna do some cleaning. Nice and grubby inside here. So yeah, we're gonna degrease this sucker and clean it up a little bit. It's not too bad. K-frame's pretty, pretty crusty, 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 greasy. So we'll just clean this up. Um, and I got some of that awesome power from the dollar store. So we'll clean the sucker up. Bill's dragging the hose over here for me. And then we get to put the motor in. That's some, that's some thick cheese, man. That's some thick cheese. Ugh. Yeah. Bill's washing my car. Where's your bikini, Bill? Soap her up, man. I'll get in there. I'll get in there with my scrubby brush and scrub it. It's gonna look like a new car. Ready from scrubbing? Scrub is scrub, bitch. We figured while we're out here. But look at it. Look at it. It's like a new car now. I'll show you it under the hood in a minute. I guess I should have done that. Actually, let's do that. There we go. Much better. Less greasy. I got a lot of the grease off the K-Member. There's still some there, but better than it was. But yeah, so now we're gonna roll her back in the garage. Let's go roll by the garage so we can dry it off or let it dry off naturally. Going for a ride. Pay no attention to my cracked windshield. Feels like I'm doing a wheelie. So yeah, cleaned up pretty good. So we'll let it sit out here for a little bit, dry off. We gotta go get some more uh, some more parts. Uh oh, my, my trim is falling off. Go get some more parts. We went and got most of our stuff this morning, but there were a few things they had to uh, uh, order in. They're supposed to be in it this afternoon. So uh, we'll go get that stuff and 
see how much more progress we can make. Okay, so to build a V8 Monza or Sunbird, you need frame plates. Um, there's obviously, there's different motors that came in these cars. You know, you have four cylinder, a V6, which this car had, and a V8. Um, and they all use different motor plates. So these bolt into the, into the car and then your motor mounts will rest in there. So these are getting hard to find. Um, I think I've got two or three sets. I've had this set since high school, so that's why I picked this set. Um, they've been in the shelf on the shelf for, oh God, 30 years. So anyway, I just cleaned them up a little bit. Um, power washed them, used the wire wheel on them, cleaned them up a little bit. So I'm going to uh, do some brake clean, get the degreaser off a little bit, or the grease off a little bit more, and then paint them black. And you'll never see them again, because they'll be in the car and under an engine, you'll never see them. Hocus Pocus, they'll be a different color. So that's just a bit of brake clean on this one. Cleaned it up. Now we'll do the same with this, and then we'll paint them. I think we're going to paint them black. My choices are black and silver. So, I guess black. So that brake clean took all the paint off, too. or a lot of, well, Not all the paint off, but quite a bit. I'll let that uh, flash off a little bit, and then we'll paint them. In the meantime, I think... We will work on this. So that's the uh, radiator hold down. And that's where the hood spring sits. And then that's the fan shroud. So you don't cut your fingers off like I did when I was 18 years old in this damn motor. So we're going to clean that up and paint it. There you go. Painted. Painted. I used all what the Bill's can of paint here, I think. So. Nice and shiny. They'll, they'll flash off. This is going to be satin. And then uh, Bill Chainsaw Lynch signed my transmission. I know you're all jealous of that. So, but we're off to the parts store, get more pieces, parts, and hopefully get this motor in here sooner than later. <clears throat> well, there you go. The V8 plates are installed. Just like they were supposed to be. With the magic green hardware. So that's ready to go. Bill's playing transmission games. Play training. Oh, training games. Ooh. So we got the dipstick tubey in there, which we didn't have before. TV cables installed. Who you call a dipstick? Yeah, exactly. So moving on. Moving on. My car's in here crooked. I might have to move that. Uh. Pretty clean here. So Bill's old Jack was a not having a good day, so we went and bought a new one. First victim, Oscar the Grouch. Oh yeah, by the way, that's the name of this car, is Oscar. I don't think I've said yet. So, this is green. What more fitting name? for a hot rod sunbird than Oscar. Well, look at that. It's a motor and transmission and a bill. Look, there's a bill. Sick bill. Sick bill. Chainsaw. We're getting close, boys and girls. Well, it's time. Kevin is nauseous. And hopeful that everything goes to plan. So we got the GoPro going over here for time lapse. Mm, I forget what day we're on here, but uh, day four or five, I don't know. Uh, we kind of had a rough night with that motor, um, getting it into the car. Been a struggle, so we're gonna kind of reload today maybe and see what we can do to get it in there i don't think we're gonna get it running this but week before before i have to go home uh, but hopefully we can get it into the car we'll see we'll see um fighting with those headers i've used those headers well it's been 30 years ago since i used those headers right so i don't remember really remember how they go in so i pulled up the instructions you put them in from the bottom but i swear when i had my old car i would leave them in the car and I could take that motor in and out of that car without too much effort. 
So I don't know why we're struggling. I'm tired. It's been a long week. Um, I gotta thank Bill because I don't. I certainly couldn't have gotten this far without him. And I'm sure we'll be victorious by the end of the week. I hope. But I'm here today, and he goes back to work tomorrow. I'm here tomorrow, and I go home Thursday. And now I'm rambling with day math. So anyway, wish us luck. Let's see what we can do today. Well, hey, hey, the motor's in the car. We're exhausted. We're going to fight putting those headers in per the instructions, which come in from the bottom, which is going to be a nightmare, I can imagine. Uh, we're going to fab up the transmission cross-member mount. We need to get a new tranny cross-member mount because this one over here is not the right one. Uh, this part goes to the transmission, and then those two holes are supposed to line up with that, and they do not. So I need to get a, the correct transmission mount. And then we'll fabricate how we how we put that up in there. Uh, the torque arm mounts to the tail shaft of the transmission. You basically take out the little torque arm mount and you flip it around the other way. And then you'll bolt it to some angle iron, which we got over here, which is probably way beefier than we need. But that's where we're at. See how much more we get done. I don't think we're gonna be firing the car before I let it go, so. Uh. So that's really all there is to moving that cross member back. Huh? I'm talking to myself, I'm videoing. Uh, so that's all there really is to getting that uh, moving that cross member back because the 204R is about uh, six inches or so different in uh, mount location than the Turbo 350. Same length. So it's the same length. The transmission is the same length, so you can use the same drive shaft, but the uh, the mounting point's a little bit different. So um, this is a three by two inch angle, quarter inch thick, and you just uh, you know mount it to the original cross member locations right there, and then you move your cross member back to pick up the uh, transmission mount. Um, you can't really hardly see it here. Maybe I can pivot over here. Maybe you can see, but the torque arm mount you basically take off and flip around and then mount to the you know vertical portion of the uh, angle iron there so nothing really to it so that's what we need to replicate of course the angle i bought is way too big so i think i'm gonna buy some different angle but that's the plan that's the idea well it's day i don't know four or five of this adventure i'm on my own today bill had to go to work um i'm not sure how much i get done today my last day here i gotta go home tomorrow um, but here's where we're at. Engine is in the car. Um, I don't have the right materials to make that, um, transmission cross member. So I think that's going to be another day. I do want to try to get those headers in here on my own. I don't know if I'm going to be successful or not. Uh, I remember them being a fight when I was a kid. And that was, God, 35 years ago. So we'll, we'll give it a shot. Um, one of my buddies said you got to take the starter out to get them in. I don't remember doing that, but again, like I said, it was a hundred years ago, so I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm tired. I don't feel good today, so I'm not sure how much we'll get done. I was really hoping to end this video, um, with a running car, not necessarily driving, but at least running, but I don't think that's going to happen. So I apologize. Doing my best. Blah, blah, blah. Well, that V8 with the aluminum heads must be pretty similar in weight to that V6 because it's, it's sitting pretty uh, pretty good. Can't complain. Can't complain. Let's see what it does if I, if I bounce on it. Oh. Stay. Shocked. Not too bad. That'll do. Hell, my high school car had two springs and one shock. That one shock was, I'm sure, bad. And it drove just fine. So, anyway. So, I don't know what that spoiler is off of. I didn't care for it at first. It's kind of grown on me. But uh, it fits the car pretty well. I mean, it's right along the. Uh, the quarter panel here kind of fades back a little bit not bad on both sides um it's the right width 
other than me, I might make it a little bit wider back here, maybe, I don't know. Um, but it's not, it's not shortened. It's got, there's the, the mounting point. So I don't know what this is supposed to curve up and around, but it curves up and around the quarter panel just fine. But they just, they just screwed it to the trunk lid. So I don't know. It's gonna stay. Weird, ugly, it's so ugly I kinda like it. But there you go. Well, not how I wanted to end this episode. I wanted to end the episode with a at least a running car. Um, but we didn't make it that far, and I'm out of energy. Bill's back to work today. Uh, left me on my own. I basically just cleaned up the shop a little bit. I looked at those headers and said, mm, not today. I just, I just don't have the energy for it today. So that's going to be another day. Um, I couldn't have gotten this far without Bill, so my God, thank you, Bill, for, for putting up with me for four or five days here. Um, I'm, I'm really going to owe you. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm, I really need to do something for you so i appreciate everything you did um all the help sorry we couldn't get the car done um but uh yeah bill's about nine hours for me eight and a half nine hours for me so it's not like i can come over here on the weekend and do things and get things you know moving along so i'm not sure when i'll be back actually i do know i'll be back in two and a half weeks ish he's got a big uh, cosworth vega uh roundup event here um at the, uh, the middle of September, September 19th, 20th, something like that. So we'll be here for four days doing that. Uh, I'll have a video out on that. Um, that's going to be an awesome event. He's done an amazing job planning this thing uh, with a band and museums and restaurants and barbecues and car cruises and whatnot. So it's going to be it's going to be phenomenal. I can't wait for that. So, but yeah, I'm sad I didn't get the car running this week. Um, but we'll be back at it. We'll, we'll be back at it. I just need to recover a little bit, uh, think about a couple things. We got to do that transmission mount. We've got that figured out. Um, get the headers in here. I don't know, maybe we'll just do cast iron exhaust manifolds. Those are, those are easy. Uh, but I want to get the headers in here. So you know, maybe when I've got more energy, we'll get those headers in there. Um, and that's it. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Again, thanks, Bill, for all you've done this week. Really appreciate it. I owe you a big time. And uh, until next time. Thanks for watching.